Brawl Out is a platformer fighting game that's currently out on Steam Early Access, and it's coming to PS4, Xbox One, and recently announced the Nintendo Switch. The developers were kind enough to send me a code for the beta to try out the PC version, and I want to give you guys my first impressions of the title so far. So Brawl Out is very much a Smash Brothers clone, both in platform fighting gameplay down to the way the characters control, and it really sort of owns up to it. So far in the beta, there's been 7 characters, one of which was just announced, and that's the Drifter from the critically acclaimed Hyper Light Drifter game. The rest of the characters are original characters, though some are clearly inspired by some other video game characters. If you've played a recent Smash Brothers game before, it'll play very familiar to you. Characters have a set of special and Smash-like attacks that have different variations based on the directional button you press alongside them. As someone coming from a Smash Brothers background, I was able to easily grasp the controls and it does have gamepad support with customizable button options, so if you're eager enough to play this with a GameCube controller, you could totally set that up. My go-to character was Olaf Tyson and the Hyper Light Drifter. Both have some similarities in terms of Smash characters' movesets in a way, but not entirely direct carbon copies. For example, Olaf Tyson can freeze characters with the side special, but he can also charge up a special punch similar to Donkey Kong's. His up special or recovery is completely new though, and it summons a pillar of ice that can be used as a barrier or a recovery platform. Hyper Light Drifter, on the other hand, has a similar special and down special to Fox, where he's able to shoot a projectile and then reflect it as well. So you'll definitely see familiar moves, but nothing in the form of a complete copy of a character. In fact, a lot of these original characters feel unique because their movesets are very different. Take for example King Apu, who is a monkey that uses a rope of sorts to slingshot enemies away, and also drag them closer for combo hits. So far, I'm pretty happy with the cast of characters, despite not really knowing or recognizing any of them outside of the Hyper Light Drifter, but that recent announcement does make me want to see more indie game characters in this game, perhaps even Shovel Knight, Ukulele, or Shantae? As far as the stages go, there's a total of 7 of them so far. Some stages make for some pretty fair fights, while others have obstacle elements to them like destructible floors or moving platforms. These stages have a lot of 3D elements to them in the background, but they're pretty calm for the most part. I mean, they look pretty, but there's definitely more that can be done with the scenery in these stages. The main models look pretty good though in 3D. That's actually something this game has going for it, the fact that the game is in 3D compared to other similar titles like Rivals of Aether or Brawlhalla that also mimic the Smash gameplay but in 2D, not 3D. Returning back to the gameplay a bit though, you'll notice that Brawla also adopts a percentage meter that's popular in Smash Brothers. It works very similar in the sense that the more damage you have, the higher your percentage, so you have a bigger knockback, although in my playtime I didn't always find this to be true. There were definitely moments where I was landing hard smash attacks on enemies with either 150% or higher, and they were still able to come back pretty easily, so there's definitely some polishing that can be done there in terms of the balancing of the knockback and the percentage meter. Speaking of which, underneath that percentage meter is a gauge that's your rage meter. When this meter is filled up, you'll see your character start to glow, and it's very much like the rage effect in Smash 4 where your character gets a slight buff during it. Currently in Early Access, the game has local multiplayer that lets you either practice to get a feel for the characters, play locally on a single PC with up to 4 players, or play against an enemy AI. There's also an online component where you can play against others randomly in friendly matches or set up ranked matches. The thing I really appreciate is that you're able to jump into an offline AI match while you search for an online ranked match. It really does help the time go by since the online community for this game isn't the biggest at the moment. You also have the option to broadcast your matches online and watch other people's streams in their games. There's even a leaderboard system in place that tallies up your online progress. So far, I'm really enjoying Brawlout on PC. There's definitely some polishing that still needs to be done with things like the damage meter and how much knockback there is in general, but I'm very happy where with this game seems to be going so far. The physics and the movesets feel pretty good, and despite the characters being mostly obscure random original characters, I still really like the way they play. The new addition of the Hyper Light Drifter gives me some hope that we'll see some more cool well-known characters in the game once it launches officially. Other content not in Early Access is still planned like a challenge mode and a dedicated story mode, but of course we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Brawl Out is currently out on Steam Early Access for 20 bucks, but it's on sale for $10 until August 22nd. It's also coming to the Nintendo Switch in late 2017 and PS4 and Xbox One sometime after that. If you'd like to see more preview stuff like this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to work on more preview stuff like this if the opportunity comes up. As always, if you have any questions about the game itself, feel free to ask in the comment section down below, or just hit me up on Twitter and Instagram for a much quicker response. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.